In today's video we're going to talk about the errors that can occur in a Python program, in Python code. So start up your Python environment. Uh, when you see the Python shell, then create a new file. So file, new file. And let's save this as... I'm going to save mine to my desktop on my Linux machine. I've already got a file called test.py. Let's just use the same file name. Okay. So let's uh, let's look at a program with no errors. So here we'll just have print hello. Okay. So the syntax is correct. Print is all in lowercase. Print is a function. Uh, Python functions have brackets or parentheses and I'm printing the text hello and the text is a string. Strings are, are delimited by quote marks either single or double or you could use triple single or triple double. So this is correct. Now when I run this it's going to print hello in the shell. So let's uh, run 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 module and I've got to save and there it does it prints hello in the shell window okay now let's make a deliberate error I'm going to delete one of the parentheses and now this program has an error the syntax is not correct syntax is the rules of the language and in this case I've broken the rule because I have forgotten my matching parenthesis so when I run this, we're going to get an error shown in the Python shell. Let's close the old shell and now let's run this code. And after saving the code there in the shell, we are, well, actually in the, not even in the shell. The shell is empty because the program doesn't run at all. Uh, here it says there's an unexpected EOF. EOF means end of file and while parsing, parsing means analyzing the text that you've just typed in and it's come across an unexpected end of file which means it's come to the end but it there's something missing in this case it's telling you as much as it can it's telling you that this is a syntax error syntax means that you've broken the rules of the language and of course when I look at this I can see that the problem is I've forgotten the the bracket at the end so let's put that in so I'll put the bracket at the end and notice this big red line pointing out where the error is let's uh, put the line on there the parenthesis there let's let's try a different error now let's say age is 18 and let's have a selection if statement now if age is greater than 21 uh, let's now this is correct syntax I'll uh, could have put print age is greater than 21 and else let's just copy that line paste it here age is not greater than 21 let's run this code make sure that it runs so the output will be in the, the shell there right so everything is running this is correct so let's forget to put the colon now the colon at the end of this condition which is either true or false this colon must be there uh, in the same way after the else keyword the colon must be present now if you forget to put the colon which is a very common error this is a syntax error because the syntax for the if statement is the keyword if followed by an expression which is either true or false followed by a colon now I've missed I've deleted the colon so this is a deliberate error and when I run there again it's an invalid syntax syntax is the grammar of the language the rules of the language I've broken the rule and so it's giving me the syntax error 
the program does not run because there is a syntax error in this case. So I press OK. And I correct my error by putting in the colon. And now the program will run as expected. OK. So a syntax error is where you break the rule of the language. Uh, the syntax or the grammar is not correct. Now there are other sorts of errors. And apart from syntax errors, there are logic errors. Now a logic error is an error where the output is not as expected. So for example, if I say uh, age is not greater than 21, so I'm reversing this. Now what I meant to say, if the age is greater than 21, you would like it to print age is greater than 21. Now in this case I'm saying the age is not greater than 21, which is obviously incorrect. It's a logical error. Now the syntax is fine. The grammar of the language is perfect. Uh, this program will run. It will not give you a syntax error, but the output is incorrect. So if the age is 18, it should say the age is not greater than 21. Uh, but in this case, let's see what it says. It says the age is greater than 21. Now let's confuse you by just printing age. Print age. Okay, so in this case the logic is wrong. If the age is, if your age is twenty is eighteen, then your age is not greater than twenty one. But here it prints age is greater than twenty one. So in this case, the logic is wrong. The output is not what it should be. So in this case, the program runs, doesn't crash. The syntax is absolutely correct, but the output is not what you expect. So this is a logic error. Now a logic error is the problem of the programmer. The programmer made a mistake and the output is not what it should be. Logic errors are made by the programmer. Syntax errors are also made by the programmer. With a syntax error, the program will not run. With a logic error, the program will run, but the output will not be as expected. Now, there are other sorts of error. <coughs> the third sort of error is known as an exception. And I'm going to now show you the exception errors. So, for example, if... Uh, let's just delete these now. And, in fact, I can delete this as well. Say I want somebody to input their age. I could say age is int input. Please, please input your age. Okay. So in this case, when the program runs, the output will be, please input your age. Python will wait until you input your age. And then let's do a print. You entered age. OK, so let's run this, see what happens. Let's save it first and run. OK, so input age, let's have 21. You entered 21. Now the 21 there is running into the word age. Let's just improve that a little bit. So I'll put a colon and a space. Let's run it again. It'll look a little bit neater. And let's have 22 this time. And it says you entered 22. OK, perfect. Now what would happen if instead of entering a number, I entered my name? Uh, let's see what would happen there. So I'm going to enter my name. Aha! Uh -huh. Now now we're getting a red error message. And if you're a beginning programmer, you'll be very familiar with these red error messages. And what's happening here, it's telling you the file where the error has occurred. It's 
telling you the line number in the file, which is line 1, and it's showing you the line where the problem is, and in this case it's saying value error. I said invalid literal. Basically I entered a string, my name, and it was actually wanting an integer. And so the type of error here is known as a value error. The value is not correct. So this is the third type of error. This is known as an exception. Now an exception is an error, uh, an error object. And there are various types that an error object can have. One of them is value error. And that's where the value is not correct for the expression. So if you enter a string when you should be entering an integer, this will give you a value error. Now let's have a look at another sort of exception error. So don't worry about the word exception. Exception just means there is an error in your code. And there are different types of exception. Value error is one. Let's show you another sort of exception. Now exceptions happen when the program is running. So it's not a syntax error. Syntax occurs, a syntax is an error in the grammar and the rules of the language. Logic error is when the output is not what it should be. But, a, uh, but an exception occurs when the program is actually running. It's also known as a runtime error. Okay, let's have a look at a different sort of runtime error. Let's say uh, print age divide by zero. Now, if you know your math, you cannot divide a number by zero. And if you do that, well, it's not possible to divide any number by zero. So in this case, it's going to give you a division by zero error. So let's enter a valid age and then print the age divided by zero. Now the syntax here is perfectly correct, uh, but logically it's not correct because you cannot divide by zero. And this will give you a runtime error. It will, what's known as throw an exception, it will give you an error and it will tell you the type of the error or the exception. Let's run it. So in this case I'm going to enter 22 for my age and here it's saying that there is a, an error. It's a zero division error which is a division by zero and the problem line is here where you've tried to divide the age by zero. So again this is happening when the program runs. It's known as an exception and Python has thrown an exception which means it's given you a, um, an error object and it tells you what the type of that error object is. So this is a value error exception, this is a zero division error exception. So an exception is essentially um, an error object. An exception is actually a class and a class generates objects and in this case an exception generates an error object of which there are different types. We have the value error, we have the division by zero division error and there are other errors that you could have which are generated when your program runs. These are just two. If you want to learn more about uh, errors and exceptions you can go to the Python Software Foundation web page. I'm just going to copy the address of this page and place it into my program here uh, so that you can see the full address of the web page that Python has for errors and exceptions. And uh, This will give you more information about the different sorts of errors that you can have in a program. Now in the next video what I'm going to do is to show you how you can deal with those errors. Now with the syntax errors you have to fix them before the program runs. Logic errors you've got to test your program to make sure the output is what you expect. But with exceptions you can handle them. You can, um, you can handle them so that your program doesn't crash. So in the next code, in the next uh, video I'm going to show you how 
you can handle exceptions.